We have the BQ, Flerk, and Wicked Aluminum case. All use an aluminum shell to help cool your Raspberry Pi 3. All super cool looking cases, smallest, com most compact being the Flerk, second biggest being the BQ, and then lastly the Wicked Aluminum. Now all three of these cases use the case to cool the, G the CPU and GPU. The CPU and GPU on the Raspberry Pi 3, that's that right there. It does it is one of the hottest chips on the board, so that's definitely the most important. As you can see, the Wicked Aluminum by far has the best cooling ability because this is a solid piece of aluminum right here. I found out through opening up this flirt case that it is not a solid aluminum. When you take off the plastic on the flirt case, you realize that the, the heat sink here is totally hollowed there. So you're not getting maximum cooling like you would with the um, wicked aluminum case. Now as far as this one, it is much smaller as well and doesn't cover nearly as much as the processor, but it is a thick piece of aluminum and it's definitely going to carry the heat up it. Now price wise, this is by far the cheapest. This is around $12, $13, is around $17, and this is around $50. So if you look at it like this, you know, the cooling capabilities, I would say these two are similar. However, this one, this one does cool the RAM on the bottom of the chip, and it also does clean, clean uh, cool the modem chip as well. So that is an added bonus for you. Not to mention these are solid, they are not hollowed out as you see here. And if you hit them, they're not hollow inside. The other thing, so some other notable things is this is a plastic bottom where these two are both aluminum bottoms. The other thing to see is this is by far the tightest fit with this piece of, I mean it really fits the pie in there perfectly so the pie, it has a good strong fit against this aluminum, thus using the, all the aluminum to help cool the pie. Here you're going to get it primarily just on the processor and then here you're going to get it on the three on the three chips. As far as color, one is going to be a polished aluminum, more chrome looking. This one is more of a, a medium gray, and this one being a um, kind of a, a gunmetal gray, if you will. Uh, so depending on the color you like, consider that as well. Um, cooling wise, these all cool really well. These all are going to get really, really warm. Because there's no fan in there, all the cooling is happening through the contact with the aluminum. But they all do great job uh, cooling and they all overclock great. As if you're overclocking to 1300 or 1350, if your Pi can handle it, all three of these cases are perfectly capable of doing it. I've done them with all three of these cases, not an issue whatsoever. If it was up to me and I was on a budget, I would be buying this case here. The reason being is I like that it covers all three of the processors and it's the cheapest of them. I also like the looks when it's all put together and it's just overall a very simple easy to use case. I think the, the flirt case is a little overhyped, but it's definitely a cool looking case. It's got a lot of accents, things like that. When you put this on there, you get the contrasting colors and things like that. But like I said, I think it's a little overhyped. My favorite thing about it is this area here. I think that is a superior design from the other ones out on the market. They have the ports like this. Um, where this one is just like a hole, you know, you still get the, the little gaps there, but you don't get the, the horizontal ones. But that's such a small detail that I'd rather save the money and still get this one. Now this one, if you're a baller, it's definitely the way to go. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful case. It has all the nice rubbers on the bottom. You can still wall mount it. Um, you can wall mount. This one actually doesn't come with the wall mount. It's the only one that if you do want to wall mount the Flerk, you're going to have a little bit more issues. It does not come pre-available to Walmart, but these do have wall mounts on them uh, as well but like as I mentioned I'm a big fan of the wicked aluminum but it's just really really expensive so I think for the average user you're gonna go with this one and people are probably asking me like who in their right mind would spend $50 on a case I mean I see it all the time where people put $25 skins on their controllers or get these custom things on that are putting rims on your car like those so sometimes they do have performance benefits but a lot of times it's just for the looks so for those same reasons that's why I think people are gonna go out and spend $50 on a case is it is a beautiful case it does add superior cooling capabilities but it is expensive especially when the board itself is around $30 or $35 that spending an extra 50 on a case is like why wouldn't you just get another computer where these are gonna be more your middle range of the road under $20 cases still look great very functional so there you have it, there's a three. Which is your favorite and why? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next one.